and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make a science experiment. It's going to be hundreds of fun. So let's begin. For the first experiment, we need some colors like rainbow colors and a paper sheet. So we have made two lines for red and blue. And now we are going to put this glass in the middle and then we are going to pour some water and see what the what magic happens. This is the magic. The lines have reversed in water. The idea of this experiment is to show the optical illusion called refraction. Refraction is the tendency of light to deflect or bend when passing from one medium to another with a different density. So in our reversing lines experiment, light passed through the mediums of glass, water and air before it ultimately touched the lines. What exactly happened when there was water inside the glass? Water and the curved glass together produce properties equivalent to that of a magnifying glass. Do you know what happens when a beam of light passes through a magnifying glass? Magnifying glasses are actually convex lenses. Its special properties force light rays to converge at a point called focal point. When the rays go beyond this point, they bend and travel in the opposite direction. So beyond the focal point, the rays which were on the left side will appear on the right and those which were on the right will appear on the left. That is why the lines turned out to be exactly opposite. This effect was possible only when the glass was filled with water. That explains the illusion of the opposite lines. Now let's try that same thing with the rainbow. Isn't it magical? Now let's do one more experiment to understand the refraction. Now let's take this glass and add some water. Now let's add some oil. Is it magical? Let's wait for it to settle. See, the water and the oil are not mixing. We already know the science behind it. Watch my density video. Then you'll understand why oil is not mixing with water. Now let's see what happens if we put the pencil in it. Now let's understand the science behind it. Now in this experiment we can see the pencil is looking bent and the angle of this bend is also very different in oil and in water. Now we know that light can't travel as quickly in water as it does in air and similarly the same difference is there with water and oil. So now as the light can't travel quickly in water it bends around the pencil causing it to look bent in the water. Basically, the light refraction gives the pencil a slightly magnifying effect which makes the angle appear bigger than it actually is, causing the pencil to look crooked. You can also illustrate this principle to your kids just by having them to run or move their hand through the air. We know it's easy, right? But when we try to do the same thing in water, we know it's a little harder. That is because the density of water is more than the density of air. And the same principle is also making the pencil look bent. Refraction is also responsible for many other cool phenomena like rainbows and mirage. But the explanation behind those is for some another day. Hope you like doing this experiment with us. Some tapes.